guys have been an established Oregon winery for a long time now. Yeah, this is the 40th year of, of this operation. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. And it's very family, family operated, family run. Absolutely, yeah. We think of, you know, our family does run it. Truthfully, the winery is a family too. Um, and, you know, we think of our staff like extended families. So. For Sylvan Ridge, things took a fairly tragic turn last year. Yeah, they did. Guys. We lost Liz uh, last year in February 1st of 2018, um, unexpectedly. Um, you know, you never prepared for something like that. But um, my wife, uh, who is her oldest daughter, uh, is tremendous in her ability to adapt and uh, step in and fill her mom's shoes while her mom's shoes were big. Uh, she's doing a really good job and Liz put us in charge for a reason. Um, there's, we're a team and, and you know, I think the winery's showing for it. While it's really hard to be a Carolyn Chambers or a Liz Chambers, um, they definitely gave us a, a, a model on how, how to do things and really an open door policy. So you came to Oregon straight from Argentina in yes, 2001. 2001. Why Oregon? Well, it was a region that was growing, and uh, I was um, excited about Pinot Noir. It wasn't a big shock on the on the uh, winemaking side because I, I knew what I was doing and everything. But uh, to understand a different region, a different a different people, different culture, and so it, it, it was a rough beginning, but with a great potential. From that day, actually, it's been an amazing trip, and I can't call it even a trip anymore. I think it's. Uh, part of my life right now. Yeah, you faced a lot of challenges in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, I guess, uh, well, I think everyone faces challenge every day anyway, in different, different ways, but uh, my mom thought that probably this would be a, a two, three years deal, and then I will go back home, and it's been 16 so far, so. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, mom, <laughs> not coming sorry, back. Sorry, mom, not, not coming, coming home. Back, no. Not coming home. Okay, so we go this way, this. What's the motivation behind um, being involved in the Oregon wine experience year after year for you guys? First and foremost, we obtain a lot of grapes from the Rogue Valley and down south. And to be involved in, in such a great organization and show our cohesiveness is, is a no-brainer for us. Our winemaker, JP, has great relationships down there with those vineyard owners um, and, and showing our, our, our support in being involved in something like this is is just a great fit. Well, for you, it hits it hits home a little bit. Children's Miracle Network helps families across the state, and here you are sort of giving back um, by your talent. I love uh, the guy from Children's Miracle Network because I met them uh, when my my two kids were preemies, and they were the great support for us, especially for my wife. So this is more like a payback and a pay forward. We just not just selling wine, we're also uh, putting together a community. We're supportive of the community. We're really welcoming uh, industry. So I, I love. I think it's, this is just a, a, a way to express support, and at the same time, we can sh show people what we do. Because this is special. This is a special wine. It is special. Every, every single barrel are special. Uh, but every single wine you go through, all of them are different. Even when it's the same wine, it's been for the same time. But every single one of them is just a different child. A different child. Yeah, I know. Um, the, I this is the teenager stage. Uh, actually, this is a teenager. Yeah, so yes, yes. Oh, it's just tumultuous. Yeah, here. this is the one that formed them to be adults. <laughs> <laughs> 